Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be building a picture frame for a special poster that I've, my wife and I got when we visited Sevilla, Spain. Um, this was way back in, I think, 2002. Uh, but this video was very interesting because it was made at the very beginning of the pandemic and it kind of got shelved because it was a partial test of uh, building the frame but it was also uh, a promotional for post-it notes which we'll get into a little bit later but this is early on in the pandemic now here I am showing the measurements for making the outside miter of the frame but there is a correction that should be a positive one eighth not a negative one eighth that gives a little bit of wiggle room for the artwork uh, when you're setting into the frame now here we have the uh, frame cutting jig which is very rough but if you want to see a good um, looking jig and the person who actually I got the inspiration from is you can go see David Picciuto on the make something TV uh, channel and he makes a very nice looking sled so here um, I show the way I used to do frames a lot before I had any fancy jigs or anything like that is I, I like to glue up uh, two pieces of the frame so a half of the frame at a time let it dry and then glue up the other half so now I'm doing the second half in this shot now we're gonna glue it up we're gonna tape it just to hold it the miter tight and let it dry then we come back in about 30 minutes and uh, I, I love my chisels because I you need to learn how to sharpen them so they're really sharp and it takes glue off really nicely when your chisels are sharp or a scrape so now I'm gluing up the two halves once they're they've been dry so we're gonna do the other two corners and we're gonna do the same thing as put some glue and then tape them up and let it sit for about 30 minutes is all it takes I always like to square up my corners to make sure my diagonals are the same and now this is what I love this type of frame it's easy to make but it also looks really good you're putting a frame on the outside of the frame which, and it's a different height so it kind of makes it look like a, uh, a shadow box effect and so instead of measuring on the outside like you did for the internal frame you're measuring the internal, internal miter of this and that's how you get your measurement so everything's really easy uh, there's not too difficult cuts on there and the math you just use that formula and you can figure out the actual length so here I'm showing sure I'm just staining with a little red oak and then I'm putting a clear coat of uh, finish on there and that is a critter sprayer and it works really good I need to review, do a review on it um, and it does really good for small jobs now here's the poster that my wife and I got in Sevilla uh, we're just cutting it down to the right size using Super 77 as spray adhesive and we are going to roll the poster onto the foam board and the foam board you get at a dollar store well now it's a dollar twenty five store but a uh, really cheap foam board and it makes a good backing just using a roller to uh, get any air bubbles out and now I use a straight edge and cut it to the final dimensions I don't show it in here, but I always tell everyone, especially my kids, I always plan to cut three long cuts in uh, cutting a uh, foam board or any styrofoam, and that way the uh, you'll get a good clean cut. If you try to do it all in one one slice, it will it'll be rough and jagged. Now here I'm putting the points in, and uh, that was the previous scene, and now we're doing the hangers. You just screw those in. Now I like to use wire when I'm hanging pictures and you won't be able to see very well because my hands in the way but this is a knot that I use all the time when I'm tying it up and we'll show a, a better shot when we move over to the other side. So you, you take the wire through the loop, do three twists, you gotta do one more, don't forget one more, three twists and then take the end and slip it through the bend of the original bend and then slip it through the excess loop and then pull it tight and that will hold it'll be very tight and then you take the end just to make it look neat and wrap it around and cut it short so now we're just trying to find the location of where we're gonna put the artwork and now we're gonna talk about centering the object this is kinda of where the promo of the post-it note was gonna be the whole reason of doing it and I'm just showing you need to measure from the top of the frame down to where the uh, nail is gonna be 
I know this is simple math, but I was trying to do um, just to show how the post-it note could be used. This is actually in post-it note extreme, which is for construction work. It's a little thicker. It sticks to more things and uh, is waterproof. Uh, so I, was, and I really like it. It's a, it feels good in the hands, especially when your hands are dirty. So I was just trying to show the use of it. And that there you go. Now, if you want to see the actual promo shot uh, that that I did. So this was a rough promo video for us uh, trying to get some work with uh, Post-It and now we're just getting silly with doing some dramatic water shots and slow motion and showing how it can be rained on and still not bleed. Uh, really uh, it was just a test so this is really a rough cut and that's the end of the promo spot. But I really do like the product, so if you're interested in getting it, you can always uh, I post it on my Amazon shop uh, if you want to try it yourself. I hope you enjoyed the build, and thanks for watching. Now here's Future Dennis to close us out. And if you'd like to see more videos like the one that you just saw, you can check here and here. And remember the ABCs of making. Always be creating. Till next time.